portal official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 16 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial we successfully see that how can we edit and delete the category, uh, sorry, language from here. So in this tutorial we are going to working on this one, but before we working on this one, we need to see this design. Just look at here, this design are different and this design also are different. So we need to fix this one from in this tutorial. So before, uh, so wasting of time, let's get that. So guys, uh, first of all, what we are going to do here, just look at here, when I uh, just uh, look at here, this font are bold and our font are is not bold. Okay. So first of all, we need to uh, going to the first of all let's close this all up just because we doesn't need that one right now so here on the source code css and here body left h3 let's say font weight bold okay sorry for that Okay, 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 okay. Here is the already available font where it is bold. Let's try to refresh that one. So no changes are applied here just because we need to clear the history from here. Clear the data. Clear. Okay. Refresh that one again. So just look at this now. Now we have a bold. So also for same way we are going to bolding this uh, font. From the ally, okay. So font size is here, and we said font weight bold, okay. Refresh that one. So just look at this now. Now it's looking very good. And just look at the height of this one. This height is not mis uh, not match with this uh, height. So we need to de uh, increase the height of our body left section. So I'm going to use 600 pixel, okay. Refresh that one. Just look at this now. Now this height is fixed. Okay. And then our next task is to getting the <laughs> this one. So first of all, let's see the category section. Just look at this category section and this category section. So we need to uh, design that one some same like we have here. So first of all, we need to change the background color of th. So I am come back here on the category section. Mm. Yeah, here is the table and change the background color of uh, this one. Yeah, here it is seven four double eight nine e. Okay. So refresh that one. So just look at this now. Now the color are perfect. So now what we are going to do here, we need to change the table, uh, oh, hi, uh, sorry, width. So the same width, 60%, just because our detail tag width is 60% for that reason. So just look at this now. Now we said we need to set the margin auto. So we say the margin will be auto. Refresh that one. So just look at this now. Now it's looking very good. And now let's set the one border here border one pixel solid and its color is has seven four double eight nine e okay so now let's refresh it again just look at this now now we have a border okay let's decrease some height here sixty point five okay so I think this is too much. Two is now I think this perfect way. Okay, 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 okay. This is perfect now. Okay. So it's the same way we are going to use here. So just look at this here now. These all are coming perfectly. So um, next one is what we have next. As the same way, 
let's see the language how languages are displayed from here so just look at this now language is also perfect from here so the next task is we need to apply the icons just look at these icons we need to apply that icon from here also we need to decrease the size of our uh, font of that table okay so font size where is the font size okay not that one yeah here it is the font size 12 pixel refresh that one okay now it's looking very good and we need to change the color wait a rim color is uh, perfect 000 black color refresh that one so just look at this now now it's looking very good very very good okay now we need to apply the icons so how can we uh, applying the icons so just simply here is the website available font awesome so you can google it so it will be appear on the first page so just click on this one so how can we use that font awesome website okay so I'm going to display, uh, I'm going to show you how can you use that one. So just look at here, just first of all come back here, how to use, click on that one. Okay, so simply what we are going to do, just copy this link from here. Okay, just copy this one. And we are going to paste that link into our source code and from here, okay. So this is our font awesome website, yeah, integrity is uh, we, if you want to remove it, so you can remove it, otherwise it will, it will be not affected anywhere. Okay. So I'm going to remove that one just because our link is too long. Remove that one. Close the link tag, okay. Now our link is available. So how can you use the icons like this? So it's just simply, it's a simple way, very simple way, very, very simple way. Just uh, come back here and now click on here, icons, icons, click on that one. So I'm going to edit, so here is a lots of icons are available. So we need the delete icon. So I'm going, I'm going to search with the trash. So just look at here. We have that delete button from here. So when I click on when, I, when you click on that icon, just look at here. Here is one icon available. Oh sorry, one tag available. I tag. So simply what we are going to do, just click on this one so it will automatically copy and then come back on our uh, function.php. not function.php cat.php yeah yeah function.php sorry 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 function.php and find the cat where is the cat here is our cat so we need to remove that edit from here and paste that icon from here oh sorry not from here here just because we use a delete icon so just single code it and also single code it so it will be displayed from there so now let's check our icon is coming or not so just look at this now now we have an icon from here just look at you can see that here is the icon are available lead icon are available okay and same way we are going to find out the edit icon edit so just look at here We also have that edit button here. Just look at this now. We are going to click on this one. Copy this one from here. And the same way we are going to pasting that one from here. Change the name with the uh, sorry single caps uh, double quotes to single quotes. Okay. So now come back again from here. Refresh that one. So just look at this now. Now we have an edit link here. Okay. So edit and delete. So now, uh, if you want to uh, change the color of this uh, press icon, so you are going to set the style equal to 
color has f double zero which means red color okay so just refresh that right now so the, oh edit edit not an edit not that on edit we need to set it on the delete button okay so refresh that one again refresh that so just look at this now now we have a color with the red okay now what we are going to do just uh, come back again into the r cat.php that is the cat.php okay guys so now let's remove this delete th and set the action here the same like we use here just look at here action okay so the same way we are going to use that action here so now we doesn't need this td to end here okay this td to we doesn't need to end that td from here also from here okay tab it again tab it and then here okay so now let's see what is exactly done here so just look at this now edit and delete section is coming from here if you set the title from here you can see that if i if i if i set the title here title equal to edit and the same way we are going to copy this one from here by control c paste that one from here by control v edit to delete so what this uh, title will do so whenever someone hover on this uh, link so it will be displayed the button name so just look at this now edit you can see that you can see that edit and just look at this delete edit delete delete edit okay that title is done the same perform the same activity from here and the same way you can uh, use for the get uh, sorry subcategory and yeah subcategory so simply what we are going to do here the simply copy this one from here by control c we all function we all subcat here it is and then we are going to or oh, not from here we are going to remove that one from here with the edit to delete oh sorry icon and here also we are going to use a press we are going to come back here so just look at this now press is not coming press spelling i think it's a spelling mistake okay again not coming so let's go back again on the function.php oh sorry we will cat function for delete trash yeah okay only trash function let's uh, copy this one from here by control c we will sub cat from here we are going to use only press refresh that one let's say the title oh sorry color and also we are going to set the title from here equal to add it and then here we are again use the title equal to delete okay uh, we are again going to view all cat function press alt yeah press alter press dash alt okay so now when i refresh that one from here so just look at this now in the same way if you want to change the action uh, edit and delete to action so you can also do that 
or you can use as a same it is as a same way we are going to use here same way so copy this one from here by control c and again we will get yeah we doesn't we don't close the i tag here so go to the function and we will subcat function come back here so just look at here we forgot to add the uh, end the i tag from here the yeah, same way we are going to end that i tag from here okay so now mm, <laughs> let's go to the function view length here it is so change this one from here and close the itex from here as the same way we are going to use a delete and say press alt okay press alt and then we also need to change uh, set the title here title equal to edit and here title equal to delete okay and here we are going to set the style equal to uh, color has f double zero okay so now i'm going to refresh that one so just look at this now now it's looking very good very nice okay same way edit again come back here all are working very well just look at this one so all are completely coming perfectly coming so guys i think this is enough for today in next tutorial we are going to working on this uh, terms and condition page okay just because we cleared the history for that reason it is clearing and that's at gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so we are going to set this one from here okay add new terms and condition swag for instructor or students okay so we are working on this add new terms and condition in next tutorial so guys for thanks a lot for watching if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks a lot for watching if you have any question in your mind comment below i will give the answer in next 24 hours as soon as possible like the video share the videos with your friends so guys we will meet you in next tutorial stay connected with me stay tuned thanks a lot for watching goodbye